praise the Lord. Uh, my name is German. I'm from Nepal. Uh, currently working in Mumbai. So uh, in these days, I was going through uh, the lockdown, and I got to know about uh, Jesus Christ more closer, and uh, got more time to be dedicated with Him. So when I was going through, uh, one thing I realized, and it really, really uh, went inside my heart uh, about the prayer. You know, I was I was wondering that uh, the prayer how to do uh, what is the strength of prayer and uh, what is the power of prayer so I was just wondering about it and then I realized and he he told me that you know uh, that prayer is only only and only one way to communicate with God so if you see that you know in in this earth right now in this world right now you can see uh, many mode many means of communication uh, you have got email you have got phone you have got chat you have got fax you have got courier service you have got letters so there are various medium of communicating with each other or from one person to another person however i was just going through it and then wondering and i was looking through the bible and all the uh, all the characters in the bible and i felt that you know there was only one way uh, they have applied to communicate with God that was um, only a prayer so uh, in Matthew also if you see in Matthew 6 uh, uh, in Matthew 6 5 uh, till if you see 14 you had you, you can see uh, the how the prayer has to be done uh, it was mentioned very quite you know precisely it has been mentioned and uh, uh, and the power of prayer also and how to be you know do prayer so prayer has been told to us how to be done in that uh, chapter and also in the verse so I was wondering that you know the prayer is only one way to communicate with God and uh, we have got this opportunity to be inside our house right now uh, uh, you know we can be inside our room and try to figure it out and try to be with God and uh, communicate with him not in a one way just you talking or you are asking or you are pleading but you have to listen from him as well so there should be a both uh, ways of communication to be done so this is only a time where you get the time to realize him understand him where you can communicate in a both the ways if you see there are lots of um, examples of uh, prayers in this uh, you know context in the bible as well starting from uh, you know uh, I, I, we have just gone through a recent bible study about this uh, uh, about jabez where he had got a strongest um, uh, uh, prayer that he have done just just two verses but he has got the strongest uh, biblical uh, uh, you know prayer that he has done out there so if you see in first chronicles uh, 4 9 10 jabez was the character where the wonderfully he has prayed to God and seek seek uh, about his help. If you see uh, Abraham, Moses, uh, David, and also Jesus Christ. So these are the greatest examples where they pray with God, communicate with God, and there was only one medium they had applied was was to pray. Uh, if you see the current, uh, the recent one, uh, not going to AD, but after, before, when Jesus Christ was there in our earth. That time also Jesus used to be very close with God and he used to communicate with prayer in the morning, in the evening, when he started his any kind of work he used to pray. Before eating he used to pray, after doing all the work he used to pray, before healing, after healing, uh, before going to another place or coming to another place he used to pray. Um, uh, before uh, before before going to argue with somebody else or going to answer with somebody else or before preaching he used to pray and, and when the satan used to come and tempt him he used to pray and seek help from god so i feel that prayer is only one medium only one way uh, to to uh, to communicate with god so i would like to encourage this time and this period of time please be closer with god and try to communicate in a both way you know two-way communication is necessary right now in this period of time where you can be closer and closer with God thank you